Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, Rumor slash Roundup. Now a lot has happened. I think it was two, three days ago when I last uploaded a video and uh, I said that I wouldn't wait another three days, but I did purely because there were some confirmed things, but there wasn't anything huge that was new. And today a few confirmed bids have came out. So I think I was justified in waiting, but again, Especially after the Euros, this will happen a lot often, like a lot more often. But uh, yeah, there'll probably be one tomorrow as well because the Euros don't actually, you know, nothing's going on. But anyway, Nine Golan uh, to Chelsea, he's been coming out and saying basically, I think a few episodes ago, where I said that I don't think the player himself has decided what he's going to do, I still think that's the case. I think he's torn between a move, pardon me, a move. Um, Roma have rejected a new offer from Chelsea I think it's something like 28 million euros or something um so we'll have to wait and see what happens but I, I generally think he just doesn't know and he'll wait until after the euros and it, it'll be a yes or no decision obviously uh next player we've got a confirmed bid Sky sources have said that West Ham have bid 35 million euros for Bacuasi I think that's how you say his name, but anyway, he plays for Marseille, striker, I think he's 21 or 22, um, he's had a couple of good seasons in Ligue 1, and uh, yeah, 35 million euros, wow, West Ham are bidding for strikers left, right and centre, like, uh, they're also, the next rumour I've got is that they've bid 40 million for Lacazette, that's pounds, I think, oh my god, like, seriously, credit to West Ham for trying, at least to get, like, a striker that you would probably see is punching a little bit above their weight in terms of uh, the other clubs that are involved which is probably why they've got to pay this sort of money but we'll see if any of them join because they've been rejected in their uh, attempts to get Lacazette in the past um, in I think uh, Carlos Baca a couple of other strikers so we'll have to wait and see but these are high offers so you know if Marseille and uh, Leon decide to reject them, then I'm not sure if they'll go back in with another bid, but we'll have to wait and see. Next player is Vardy, who obviously confirmed he was staying at Leicester. He signed a new four-year deal, but today he came out and said that uh, he rejected Arsenal because of their style of play. He didn't think he would suit it, their passing style of play, and uh, he prefers the counter-attack counter style of play that Ranieri has, so that's fair enough. And um, Personally, I think Arsenal have dodged a bullet. Like, I generally don't think Vardy... I agree with Vardy himself saying that he doesn't think he would have fit their system. Um, n no one better to judge that than the player himself. But uh, I thought this well before Vardy said, as did a lot of people. So, in all honesty, this is probably bad for rivals of Arsenal because I think Vardy just wouldn't have worked. And now Wenger, the likelihood is he's going to sign another striker that will probably fit their system a bit more. So he's, his hand is forced into getting another striker but of course he could do the Wenger thing as Wenger do, does and just give up after losing one striker he did it with Benzema when his bids were rejected he did it with the Suarez 40 million bid he when it was rejected well kind of he got Danny Welbeck I suppose but uh, he's played on the wing for Arsenal and obviously he's been injured a hell of a lot and he's played as a striker as well but bar that he didn't really get anyone else so hopefully Wenger just does a Wenger and doesn't sign anyone else but um, next player we've got linked is one I don't really think would happen but uh, he's linked and it's uh, Alexis Sanchez to Juventus now I think if Arsenal don't improve next season as in they don't win the league which I think is what Sanchez really wants well that's what most players want but generally I think that's why he joined Arsenal because he wanted to win the Premier League so if he doesn't I reckon next season this has this has uh, legs to actually happen uh, whether it will be Juventus or another club would have to wait and see but for this season I can't see Sanchez joining but this is Juventus's apparent top target to replace Morata who's obviously went back to Real Madrid for the foreseeable future although he might uh, end up going somewhere else because there's reports of a 45 slash 50 million euro bid from um, I think it's Chelsea for Morata now Real Madrid won like 80 million euros 90 million euros so equates to about 60 70 million I mean following our exit from uh, the European Union the euro to the pound is kind of um, plummeting well the pounds going less so <laughs> I presume clubs will be asking for more euros to balance that and yeah but anyway let's not get into politics but anyhow whatever the price they want stupid fees almost new world record fees uh, well it would be in the Premier League anyway so uh, 
I can't see this bid if it's true because it's AS and uh, they're a Spanish outlet that sometimes are reliable but more than more than often they're not. So if they have actually bid this, I'm, I'm assuming it'll get rejected and then they'll have to go back in for another bid. But uh, with Marotta, that's going to be one that's going to drag out most of the summer, I think. And I don't think he'll move until almost deadline day if he does. Anyway, next player we've got a rumour that's cropped up and it's Aaron Ramsey to Manchester United. And according to the Daily Star, you know, that reliable paper, um, Mourinho wants him to be his Frank Lampard for Chelsea. And uh, credit to the paper for saying that it's only... I say credit, like, obviously, I believe it's bullshit. But what I'm saying is they're saying if our move for Henrik Mkhitaryan fails, we'll go for Aaron Ramsey. I mean, credit to them for finding another player that, you know, went potentially linked to because it's hard these days to find new players that we've never been linked to so uh yeah aaron ramsey it's bullshit like we're, we're not gonna go after him i highly doubt it we'll get mkhitaryan i think um it looks like a matter of time because i think uh it's being reported by build that uh uh god mind fuck right barisha dortmund have uh now started negotiations with andre Schiller as a replacement for mkhitaryan because the fee that we're off is like a couple of million euros they want 31 million pounds and i think we've bid something like 28 million plus add-ons so i think that one will happen soon so as for the ramsey thing it's it's just it's just basically clickbait in my opinion next player we've got is nilito who this was a couple of days ago manchester city had apparently activated his release clause that isn't confirmed yet but it's probable that it will happen after the Euros. Barca are, are also interested, so it comes down to what the player wants. He's a, a brilliant player. He's getting on kind of like 29. He's about to hit his prime, I suppose. So he's having a very solid Euros at the minute. And he's had a very uh, very solid couple of years in La Liga. Um, so, yeah, this would probably be a good signing. But he primarily plays on the left. Uh, I haven't really seen too much of him on the right and I would have thought the right is where Manchester City would want to improve uh, particularly because they've only got Jesus Navas really that can play there I know sometimes Silva goes left goes right but uh, yeah this would be a good signing in my opinion it would give them a lot more depth and um, yeah he seems like a dangerous player next player we've got is Wanyama I covered him in the last episode but now it's fully confirmed he's moved to Spurs and I think that's a fantastic signing gives them a lot more strength and depth in the midfield department I won't say too much more because I covered it last episode next player again Troy Deeney um, it looks as though Leicester according to Sky are set to actually bid 30 million for Troy Deeney it's absolutely crazy but um looks as though Watford would accept that one and uh, their stance hasn't changed now that Jamie Vardy has actually stayed at Leicester they still want Troy Deeney as uh, another striker so we'll have to wait and see and the final rumour I've got is Nani to Everton for 6.5 million this would be a fantastic move for both the player and Everton in my opinion um, I think he's 30 now so he's getting on a bit but he's still a top quality winger and uh, yeah this this would probably bring excitement on the wings of Everton obviously he's a very skillful player but he's having a solid Euros he scored two for Portugal even though Portugal have been piss poor but that's generally the rest of the team Ronaldo and Nani well I know Ronaldo failed in his second game but his third game he answered his critics as he usually does by scoring two but anyhow Nani having a very solid Euros for him and uh, yeah he did very well for Fenerbahce last season so I reckon he would be open for a move back to the Premier League and I think it would be a good move for Everton and for Nani. So hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and yeah, peace.